Welcome to our channel NK Learning. Today we are going to learn tips and tricks using 3ds Max. Let's start. First, create camera from views. Create one object. Just you can pan your perspective views. I need these views. Okay, go to camera, create one camera. Any angle, you can create any angle. But I need this viewpoint. Already create the camera. Just select the camera. Control plus C. C. Now the camera set from the view angle. See the camera automatically come. Okay. See again, create the camera, see the camera is opposite angle, now just control plus C, automatically set the view angle, see the camera is set the from view angle, okay. then zero axis you can find your object in the axis see like this now i make the zero axis select the mode tool on right click see opening this window x angle see the x angle see the x point 0 and y point 0 z point also 0 see now this box 0 axis now the box center on the viewpoint see you can find your object just create the 0 axis Then find the distance. See, I need the distance between the box. I need distance between the box. Go to helpers. This is the helpers and select tab. Just end to end. You can tap. See the length. Of the value 2 feet 5 inches vertical angle also you can measure this is find the distance this is easy way for you can find the distance then scan line to V-ray material converter Okay, the three object is scanline material. Now go to VRI material. You can select the object, right click, go to VRI sense converter. Just select the VRI sense converter, then go to select convert standard material capacity to VRI material reflection. Just enable confirm. Now go to check the material. See, automatically convert the standard to V-ray material. See, now you can change diffuse color, reflection, everything you can change. Like this. This is easy way for scanline to 
VD material converter. Okay, then create selection object. I can explain the how to create the selection object. You can access some group of object. You can use this method. You can find easily. Now I am create some box and cone. First, I am select the box. Go to create selection. Just create a name box. Enough. Enter. See. Show the box. Then select the cone and create a name just cone. Enter. See. I am select the single object. Now move only single object only. See. Otherwise, go to the selection. Select the box. The entire box also move. Select the cone. The entire cone also moving. You can access the multi object easily. This is selection object. Okay, then transform toolbox. See this entire single mesh object and select the object. Go to edit transform toolbox and select the transform toolbox. Open this window. You can rotate your object. See like this. degree is 90 degree see now I can place the dining table on this plate see like this just one copy select instance okay another two plates go to the transform toolbox just rotate see you can easily to access the placement then next substitute I need to replace on this plate I can use substitute like this select old one go to modifier go to substitute you can select substitute see just go to pick since object just Select the new one. You can select the new plate. Automatically, all plate are changed. Already, we are using instant method of copy. That's why the entire plates are changed. This is easy way for change the object. You can use substitute. Then X search. This is search X. You can press X. Open search window. You can search any tools. Like this. I'm select the just type the box. The box tool is enabled. Now go to select the teapot, the teapot tool enabled. You can easily access any tool. Just select the X, open the search tool. You can type the tool name. Select the plan, see like this. Just select the cylinder. You can create the cylinder. This is for fastest to weigh. You can use the tricks. Your project will work very fast. Thank you for watching. Please share and subscribe our channel. Thank you.